Okay, so now that we have our site looking like this, we have join now, it works. Um, we have some text that we have no idea what it is. And so we want to actually change this. Now, what I'm going to show you, you can do on pretty much any website. Um, and we are going to do it specifically for ours. So first and foremost, use control click or right click um, within the Chrome web browser and then go to inspect element. Now this is pretty cool. So it shows you all the different things, the HTML tags that are within the website that you're looking at. So if you see here, H1 is the tag for hello world. H1 is a pretty common HTML tag. It's actually a very common tag. It stands for your first heading. Um, but when you go through here, you can actually click down and see even the text underneath it. So this is paragraph text. There's the tag right there. See, that's how it closes too. So with HTML, whatever you open, you must close. Um, so going through here and just kind of seeing how all of this stuff is laid out, it actually shows you exactly what we see here. It's just like looking at view source, but it allows us to see it up here when we scroll over it as well. Now, if you click on one of these and hit edit as HTML, you can actually change the text, change text here and click off of that. And then it actually changes up there. Now, of course, if I run a refresh on it, it will go back to what it was, but at least now you can kind of see, oh, wow, I can, I can go in here and do inspect element and I can look for that paragraph stuff because that's a paragraph. It's probably in that tag. Even if you don't know what tag it's in, you can just scroll over the different tags and see where it might be. Um, and then you can edit this text too and just say some more text. Okay, that's pretty useful. And then on this, you have this over here on styles, element style. It's kind of a way to play around with what's called style sheets. Um, usually they are um, cascading style sheets, other no, otherwise known as CSS. Um, but styles, just basically you can change the color, you can change the size, you can change the padding around it, you can change the margin between other things. That's uh, really cool. So if we did color and we did red, it will change it to red. And we can even just play around with all the different colors on here and even uh, the alpha or the, um, you know, how transparent it is. And you can play around with a lot of this stuff. And how you would keep it is if you go back in here, you can look at this and do edit as HTML again and you can copy this whole thing. So let's copy that. Let's go into Komodo edit and we'll scroll down to that first heading. It's the first one. So we scroll down to that and it was a paragraph tag. So let's get rid of this one because that's what we copied. Paste that new one and we can get rid of the last tag and all that because we're just going to keep that default stuff. Exit this, hit refresh and there you go it changed that tag to that color um, based off of that. And if we wanted to do some more stuff to it, we can go in here and let's say we wanted to put font size like 42 pixels. There we go, it does it. Uh, I mean, obviously you probably won't want to do that necessarily, but there's a lot of different things that you can do in here and if you just type a letter it's going to show you all the stuff you can do um, that's kind of nice about chrome is it really allows you to kind of play around with with uh with your site um, and how you can make color changes and all that stuff and, and this is true for backgrounds too so if i inspect the element here now i grab the jumbotron and the reason i know this is probably the one that's going to change the color is it's it is it selected pretty much everything um, within that area. So if I click down and hit container, I know that it's not selecting all the gray. As you see there, it only selects that middle part. We want all the gray. So that's the jumbotron. I mean, I already know this, but, um, 
just playing around with it will allow you to kind of see how the site's designed more. And if we see over here, there's this background color. There's already something calling that background color. So we can change it uh, just right there. And pretty simple to do. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I change it if it's not showing up here on this div? So this is actually CSS. Now, if you notice, it's called class jumbotron and then has dot jumbotron classes is basically a dot in CSS. So let's let's actually make some custom CSS. Within our statics, we're gonna make a new file here and we'll call it custom.css and it's a blank document. So we were looking at the jumbotron, right? So dot jumbotron, so let's just copy this and dot jumbotron and then we need these brackets just like we see in chrome it shows the brackets and let's copy that background color that we changed paste that in here save it okay so we need to make sure that this is being called now if you look here if we click on bootstrap.css it's it's literally bootstrap.css. So if we go back up, you might remember that we changed it and we put it right here. This is bootstrap. That was already there, but we changed it to have static and CSS. So um, we need to do the same thing to our custom. We need to actually call it in our base file. So going back up, you'll see that this one's linked. That's the one that, that we just looked at. So if we copy this whole thing with the notes and everything and paste it down here, and change this to custom CSS and we put this to custom save that so it's now calling that file and putting it in there and then we can do a refresh here and that blue sticks um, so now if we wanted to change this color a easy way to do it in Komodo edit is hit command or excuse me control click control click or command click and you're gonna you can change the color right there and it's gonna change it for you and then you do a refresh in here there you go color is now changed so there's another thing that we can do is we can call tags uh, explicitly so this is the paragraph tag uh, if you remember what we did down here so paragraph tag right and we added this style here so let's actually get rid of that and get rid of this, save that, go back into our custom. Within that, we're gonna put that new color, do a refresh, and now all of those tags have that color. So CSS can get relatively complicated. As you see, there's a lot of different moving parts and Bootstrap makes it easy to make these changes on the fly. Um, so, just kind of keep those things in mind and you can do it where it's an external style sheet where like we did here or you can do it as an internal one like what we did first um, the external is usually better practice because then it's easier to just find the file that it's associated to and just change that file now another thing to note is if you were to put this custom.css above everything it's going to default to that other color. And that is because uh, computers read things from left to right and then top to bottom. Um, and if it's gonna go into this custom.css file, it's gonna see that. And then it's gonna go into this bootstrap style sheet and see the gray. And it's gonna overwrite it with the gray um, unless we do important, then the important one will take precedence so it doesn't really matter then the order unless there's another important one after it um, and then we save that and we can do it just like that but i'm going to leave it like this and i'm going to get rid of important so you guys can change that color as much as you want uh, next thing is we notice like these black the black text in here or anything between tags is you can change. So um, if we wanted to change project name to, I don't know, MVP landing, 
We save that, go back in here and hit refresh, there it is. Jumbotron template, we don't actually want that, and that was a title tag up here. So we do MVP landing. Um, refresh, now that's that. Um, you can do these things for all your text and everything like that. So um, this is where we're gonna stop on this one. I definitely encourage you to play around, maybe make some new colors, maybe you can change the navigation bar color. Um, but doing the custom CSS is actually not that difficult to do. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will go to the next one.